Hey everybody, Kennedy Hawk here again. This time we are going to take uh, continue. Hey everybody, Kennedy Hawk here again. We are going to continue our core set playthrough of Marvel Champions. We're playing through the core set, all three difficulties, or sorry, all two difficulties, um, against each of the villains using core set hero only decks. This time we're taking She Hulk Aggression up against Standard Claw. We're going to save more of those leadership and justice decks for our expert mode playthroughs. We're going to try to use all five heroes as we go through this. So we have set up right here, we have the Immortal Claw with the standard encounter set and with Legions of Hydra going up against She-Hulk. And we'll see just how things go. I need to run and grab She-Hulk's obligation very, very fast. And then we will be set up and ready to rock and roll. All right, we're back and we're ready to go. The villain deck is all shuffled up. We're going to search the encounter deck for the defense network side scheme. I guess I should have done that before I shuffled. Reading is important. So we're going to place defense network into play to start with. We're going to shuffle this encounter deck. And then we're going to discard cards until we find a minion right away, doing our when revealed on the main scheme. So, we are looking for a minion, and we get Melter. So Melter is a 5 health minion with 1 scheme and 3 attack from the Masters of Evil modular set. We need to shuffle in our obligation at this point during setup, following the actual setup rules that normally I always forget about, and I just shuffle my obligations in at the beginning. So we got rid of an advance, the Shadows of the Past, to the Immortal Claw right away. These are important things to note when you're trying to win more games of Marvel Champions as you're exploring that core set. You get to know what's in the discard pile. So if we know there's only two advances in the deck, that makes us feel a little bit better about She-Hulk flipping so often. And our Shadows of the Past is gone already, so Titania is not going to come and wreck our day nearly as much as we would normally expect. Let's get our three threat placed out here in Defense Network. We're going to shuffle up She-Hulk's deck one more time for good measure. And this is using the She-Hulk deck from deck one of four deck building from our new player series. So again, this is more of a multiplayer focused She-Hulk deck, but I think especially within the core set, those decks kind of end up being about the same thing. Um, in solo, maybe you include a few more allies if possible, but I think we, we basically jammed all the allies we could into our decks. So let's go ahead and draw our opening hand size of six as Jennifer Walters. In our hand, we have a Ground Stomp, Relentless Assault, Chase Them Down, Power of Aggression, a second chase them down in a superhuman law division. So this actually looks real nice because we're going to be able to use power of aggression to relentless assault melter gone. We can use these two copies of chase them down to get rid of the defense network, but we don't need ground stomp and we don't need superhuman law division. So I'm going to discard those for now and see what else I can get. And I get a one, two punch and another relentless assault. So we're going to get up and we're going to get rocking and rolling with She-Hulk right away. We're going to flip. I should probably put some health out there on She-Hulk. So let me do that really quick. We've got a five, a two, one more two, a one, and one more five. Because we're going to take some damage. Let's just admit it. So when we flip to this form, we can deal two damage to something. Let's do it to Melter. We can use Power of Aggression to double its resources to play Relentless Assault. Since we paid with a physical resource, we deal 5 damage to a minion with Overkill. So 3 more damage to Melter, and then 2 damage pushes through onto Claw. Which is awesome. We've hit Claw right from the get-go. On top of that, we just defeated a minion after your hero attacks and defeats an enemy. This is an attack because it says Hero Action Attack on it. We can play 2 copies of Chase Them Down to remove 4 threat from a scheme, or 2 and 2. It's going to let us get rid of Defense Network right away, which is pretty crazy. Now, She-Hulk here, she's all about the punching, so we're going to go punching right away. Swing for three, hitting Claw down to seven. We'll use the second Relentless Assault and a one-two punch to ready She-Hulk, and swing for three more, hitting him down to four right away. Now, that was just with a really lucky draw. Now, notice, like with Captain Marvel in our first game, we got a ton of boards set up happening right away. Here, we didn't get a ton of board set up, but we got a lot of progress made towards our win condition. So we're going to ready up, draw our new hand, and see what's what. So we have a 1-2 punch, a combat training, a mockingbird, and a ground stomp. Um, I'd like to play mockingbird, but I'd also like to, to get some damage in. So we'll see where we end up in the long run. We're going to place one threat on the main scheme, and Claw is going to attack against us. We're going to face tank this first attack. So Claw is swinging for 0, plus 1. 
and boosting a weapons runner into play. So we get hit for one from Claw and one from the weapons runner. We've still got four cards in hand here. We get one encounter card, and that encounter card is an assault. So he's going to hit us again, and again, we're going to face tank it. We've got a lot of health with She-Hulk. We're okay taking a little bit of damage. So he's hitting for two, three, four, five. That was a much bigger hit because he boosted for additional boost icons with Masters of Mayhem and Solid Sound Body. But we survived the turn. We get to go. Now is where we have to make real decisions in life. Do we want to get combat training, or do we want to be a little sneakier here? I think we're going to be a little bit sneakier. The safe bet in Marvel Champions is just usually to play an ally. So we're going to pay three resources for a Mockingbird, who is going to stun, if I can find my stun tokens, the Claw. Um, She-Hulk will hit this weapons runner for three. Mockingbird will thwart one off the main scheme. And we're going to flip down because we need more cards and we need to draw into good cards as soon as possible. So we get six cards in Alter Ego form. Let's see what our next hand has in store for us. A Chase Them Down, a Tenacity, an Emergency, Combat Training, which is good, Hellcat, and Split Personality. So this could be pretty good. I like to play Split Personality when I start in Hero form. So we'll see where we go with this. Um, it looks like we could play Combat Training. Um, then we wouldn't be able to afford Split Personality. So we'll have to think a little bit about what we're going to play and how we're going to do it. Okay. Villain's turn first. One threat on the main scheme. Claw's not going to attack. He's going to scheme because we're in alter ego form. And we can prevent one of that scheme with Jennifer Walter's Eye Object ability. So he's going to scheme for two, three, four. We're going to prevent one of it. So that becomes a three. So we're up to four out of six threat on the main scheme. Always terrifying. And our encounter card is a Tiger Shark. So when Tiger Shark attacks, give him a tough status card. So there's a character we want to see gone. I really want to be able to split personality this turn. But I'm not seeing if that's possible yet. <laughs> All right. We flip up, we get to deal two damage to something. We could throw it in Claw. We could also throw it in Tiger Shark, which is going to let us defeat him and spend Chase them down. Um, we don't have a good way... This might be one of those cases where we hold on to a card, and that card might be split personality. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to flip up. We're going to punch for two on Tiger Shark with our flip. We are going to use Emergency and Tenacity to play Combat Training. We are going to swing for four with She-Hulk to knock out Tiger Shark, because we now have four attack thanks to Combat Training. Uh, Mockingbird will thwart for one, and when we knock someone out, we'll use Chase Them Down to remove two more threats. So we're down to one threat in the main scheme. That feels pretty good. I'm not going to hold on to Hellcat, but I am going to hold on to Split Personality, because I want to really optimize this next turn. And of course, we drew into four resources. How funny. All right. Well, it's, it's the villain phase. Let's see what happens here. We've got two threat on the main scheme now. Claw is stunned. We've got one encounter card, which is a weapons runner, which is going to surge into a sonic boom. Either spend one resource of every type or exhaust all the characters you control. Well, we certainly don't want to spend one resource of every type, so we're going to exhaust everybody and hope for the best. All right. It's our go. We are going to... So there's a thing you can do in Marvel Champions where you can overpay for something, but it doesn't count as overpaid. So we can spend excess resources to play split personality. So I'm going to pay four resources because I don't want to keep anything in my hand and play split personality. Split personality says change your form. Uh, what is it then? Draw up to your printed hand size. So we're drawing six cards. One too many. We've got a lot of good things coming here. We do have a gamma slam, which sounds fun too. Um, we are going to flip back and with our two damage hit this weapons runner get him out of there i think what we're gonna do is use one two punch and gamma slam to play a hulk and we'll use first aid and tenacity to play a superhuman strength for next turn and we're gonna sit tight for one more turn hoping we don't get exhausted so we're gonna draw to our hand size of four note we're not letting any minions persist on the board because it makes flipping down almost impossible 
We haven't gotten any of our resource generators to really be able to afford Nick Fury in uh, hero form, which is unfortunate. We've got a Nick Fury, a, hero, a Haymaker, a Superhuman Strength, and a Tigra. So one threat going out in the main. Claw's going to attack us for 0 plus 2. We're going to defend with Hulk this time. So he's going to hit Hulk for 1, 2 with 2 armored guards. So Hulk has taken 2 damage, and he is literally just there to soak attacks. That's okay. We've got one encounter card. It's another assault. This one Mockingbird is going to defend against. So Mockingbird is getting hit for one, two. Wow. Cards are coming up gravy. All right. Mockingbird is gone. Well, we survived our turn, which is really important right now. Um, gosh, this is an awkward hand. So our base attack right now is six. He's got four health left, but we're still going to hit him for six. And discard our superhuman strength, uh, which is a forced response to stun Claw. He's going to jump to the next form, which is going to have 22 massive hit points. That is a large hit point jump from stage... That's stage 3. What am I doing? These are all shuffled. He's going to jump to 18 hit points. That's much more reasonable. But, don't be fooled. He also has a forced uh, interrupt for, uh, no, when revealed. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for the Immortal Claw, which we know we discarded at the beginning, and put it into play. So that is a 3-threat side scheme that also increases Claw's health by 10. So we put 10 extra hit points out there, and when we defeat that side scheme, we could remove those 10 hit points. Oh, so that's kind of gross. Um, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to play another Superhuman Strength. We're going to keep Nick Fury in our hand and flip down. Now, flipping down means that we're probably going to threat out here, but we're choosing to let that threat out to get more cards into our hand and have a really explosive future turn without the fear of getting everyone exhausted. So I'm just drawing up to my six-card hand size. So here I have Nick Fury, Focused Rage, Energy, Legal Practice, Combat Training, and Relentless Assault. So we'll see how things go. We're going to get two threat on the main scheme because... Um, one from Immortal Claw, one from the base threat. He's going to scheme for two plus something, and we could object with Jennifer Walters, but it's going to pop no matter what we do. So he's going to scheme for four, which is going to pop the main scheme. When revealed, discard cards from the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that minion into play engaged with the first player. Advance to scheme 2B. There might not be any minions left. Radioactive man. That's good to know. So we've now got 8 threat as our threat threshold here. After Radioactive Man attacks you, he's not going to attack me. He is going to get to Scheme, though, because that was Claw's initial Scheme activation. And then we get one Encounter card, which is Legal Work. So we can exhaust this to discard this, or give the main Scheme an Acceleration token. Well, are we going to defeat him this turn? We've got 6 base attack right here. 9 from Hulk. We're probably not going to defeat him this turn. But I'd really like to use my base attack. Well, life is hard. I'm going to exhaust and get rid of legal work. Because I think it's the right thing to do to take the game slow and steady. We've already got a stun out there. We don't need to use our next superhuman strength yet. So it's our go. We're going to flip up to She-Hulk. And we're going to deal two to Radioactive Man. Because we cannot afford to let these minions live. We're going to use energy legal practice and combat training to play a Nick Fury who's going to draw us three cards. We're not quite decked out yet. We got one card left in our deck. And we draw into a bunch of stuff here. I'd like to play Focused Rage um, and then I could draw one off Focused Rage and play Relentless Assault. So that seems pretty good. We're going to pay three for Focused Rage, which is an upgrade where you take one damage to draw one card. We have now decked out. So we're going to deal ourselves an encounter card and shuffle our deck. We drew our second Focused Rage, which would have been lovely to have earlier in this shenanigans here, but uh, it was not meant to be. We're going to use Focused Rage and First Aid as resources to play another copy of Relentless Assault. We're not paying with a physical, so there's no overkill, but we're hitting Radioactive Man for exactly five, so that's okay. We're just clearing the board. Nick Fury is actually going to thwart away from the Immortal Claw, because if we get rid of the Immortal Claw, we are in real good shape for ending this game. Um, so let's put our two allies up here. We are going to draw to our hand size of four. So we have a Superhuman Strength, a One-Two Punch, a Mockingbird, or a Relentless Assault. And it's the villain's turn. So 
villain phase, we're going to get two threat on the main scheme because acceleration token from Immortal Claw. Claw is stunned, and we get dealt one extra encounter card. We've now depleted the encounter card deck, so an acceleration token goes on here. We have to shuffle that. We have two encounter cards to deal with, one from decking out and one from our regular encounter cards. So it's always important to time those when you have a lot of allies and things to absorb those extra villain activations. Um, that was one of the reasons that I chose to play Nick Fury over going a different route in my hand last turn, was I saw I was probably going to deck out. I knew when I drew my new card, hand of cards I was going to. Um, so this was going to be super important for me to have things to stop whatever Claw might throw at me here. And the first thing he's throwing at me is a Whirlwind, which is an ally. He attacks every player, doesn't really scale up in multiplayer, and a Caught Off Guard. A Caught Off Guard, that can be real annoying. So Caught Off Guard is discard an upgrade or support you control. Um, I don't want to discard my Superhuman Strength, so I think I'm going to discard my Focused Rage. I was hoping he would get an Assault that I could soak with Nick Fury, but it just didn't happen today. And it's Argo. Wow. Um, let's see what we're going to do here. Well, She-Hulk can go swinging for six. And a stunt, which doesn't hurt. We have to discard our Superhuman Strength to do that. We then do have a... 1-2 punch that we could play to ready She-Hulk to swing for another 4, potentially, which doesn't seem bad. We removed 2 from the Immortal Claw earlier with Nick Fury. So we could get rid of that Acceleration token, which also seems pretty good. We've got a Relentless Assault and a Superhuman Strength in our hand, neither of which we can play, which is a bit of a bummer. Um... I think the right answer is to thwart away the Immortal Claw. That's going to remove 10 hit points and remove our threat pressure on the main scheme. We'll keep Superhuman Strength in our hand, but toss Relentless Assault and draw three cards to end our turn. We're not going to attack with Hulk. He's going to block attacks for us. So the villain phase begins. We get two threat placed on that main scheme because there's a natural acceleration token now. Claw does not attack us. He's stunned again. But Whirlwind does attack us, and I think we're just going to take the two on the first attack and potentially use Hulk to seal the game. We get one encounter card. It's an Armored Guard who comes in with Tough. Extra obnoxious. We're going to have to figure out a way around that because he has Guard. Ugh. Okay. Well, that kind of ruined our day. <laughs> we could pay two to Ground Stomp. Hulk could swing into Armor Guard, and She-Hulk could hit for four. Um, that might not work out in our favor, though. We could also play Superhuman Strength and get rid of Whirlwind, and then worry about Armored Guard next turn. Urgh. I think the right answer here is to pay two and play Ground Stomp. We're going to hit everybody for one, including Claw himself. We can then swing into Armored Guard to get rid of him. Ready up, and I'm going to discard Superhuman Strength because we're looking for anything else to bail us out at this point. So we drew into a chase the down, a 1-2 punch, a haymaker, and a 1-2 punch. This is perfect, because it's got the 12 damage in our hand. We just need to not draw a guard minion, because we can swing for 4, 1-2 punch, swing for 4, 1-2 punch. So, villain phase, 2 threat going on the main. It's at 7. It's a very dangerous number to be at when there's 2 advances in the deck. Um, Claw is going to attack us, and we have Hulk for that. So he's going to attack for 1, 2, and boost a little weapons runner. So uh, Hulk will take 2. Still alive. Good job, Hulk. We've got two little dudes hitting us here, so we're going to be down to two health, which is a very dangerous spot in the health to be at. And we've got one encounter card, which is the Masters of Evil. When revealed, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a Masters of Evil minion is discarded. We get a Tiger Shark engaged with us as well. But I think we have the game in our hand. So even though we had this nasty side scheme come up and we're one threat away from Claw winning, our She-Hulk aggression course that only deck has pulled through. We're able to swing four at Claw because there's no guard minions out there. So that's going to put him down to seven. We can use one chase them down to play one, two punch and ready after we attack. Swing for another four. It's going to put Claw down to three damage. 
You could use Haymaker to play one more one-two punch, readying after that attack. Swing for three more to finish off Claw, and bingo bango, She-Hulk did it. So that was a super fun game. I still really enjoy the Marvel Champions core set. I think it is a stupendous value core set with, with pretty limitless options. I mean, you're going to be entertained for a real long time. You're going to like the game so much that you're going to want to buy like 50 more things, which, I mean, yeah, I know that's me, first world problems, right? Um, but this core set still holds up, which makes me super excited. A lot of times when I play a card game, I go back and play the core set, and I'm just like, why am I playing this instead of my new stuff? But here, in Marvel Champions, I feel like you can still have a lot of fun with the core set cards against these core set villains. So the next video up is going to be <laughs> um, somebody against Ultron. i got to figure it out who still. Maybe Black Panther will do against Ultron. And then we'll be going through all these villains in expert mode as well. So thanks for tuning in to the MCM New Player Month. If you like these videos, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what heroes and villains you'd like to see me try out with my new camera setup. And we'll make some more videos and enjoy some awesome games. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.